South Korean Foreign Minister Kang Kyung-hwa on Monday described the North Korea nuclear situation as the most urgent diplomatic challenge for the nation. Speaking at a rare meeting of the chiefs of South Korea's overseas missions, Kang stressed cooperation with the international community is key in the endeavor. Kwon Jang-ho has this report. Addressing a crowd of 182 South Korean ambassadors and consulate generals from 163 overseas missions, Foreign Minister Kang kyung hwa said resolving the North Korea nuclear issue peacefully is the most urgent diplomatic challenge. She stressed the importance of working closely with the international community, especially with South Korea's four key partners, the U.S., China, Russia and Japan. However, Kang also said that South Korea remains proactive in finding its own path towards a peaceful resolution. At the same time, we are finding our own diplomatic space and are pursuing a range of measures to draw North Korea out for talks. We will continue to make persistent efforts to find a peaceful resolution to the North Korean nuclear issue. Kang reiterated Seoul's plans to reach out to other non-traditional partners, such as through the new Northern Policy and New Southern Policy announced by President Moon earlier this year, to help tackle North Korea as well as build a future of, quote, mutual prosperity. Finding a peaceful resolution to the North Korea situation, cooperating with the four key partners and expanding our diplomatic reach has a direct connection to our national interest. Kang's speech was part of a five-day meeting for the mission heads, where they will be briefed on the administration's policy direction and discuss how to achieve their diplomatic aims. They will also carry out some volunteer work and visit the venues for the 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Olympics, the promotion of which is a key objective in the coming months. It's the first meeting of its kind since President Moon took office in May, and he will be hosting a dinner for all 182 diplomats at the Blue House later on Monday, before they return to their diplomatic missions around the world next week. Kwon Jang-ho, Arirang News.